Welcome back to Let's Go Racing. Here we have special guest joining us, trainer Kate DeMassey. And Kate, everybody's very familiar with you. You've been here a long time trainer here at Parks and you also have a string at Penn and Monmouth and you do so much in the thoroughbred industry. But one thing you and Greg have been really successful with is your partnership with Pewter Stable. Why is that something that's so great for someone to get involved that maybe doesn't have a lot of experience owning thoroughbreds? Well, for one thing, um, you can share the expenses with a lot of other people. And on top of that, you know, you kind of get a learning curve if you haven't been in the business. Um, you know, and a lot of our owners have gone on to, you know, own horses, you know, in their own stables now. So um, it's a great opportunity to not have to bear the brunt of all that cost of owning a racehorse. Kate, how do you get involved in Pewter Stable? Um, we have a website. You can go to pewterstable.com. It's got a lot of information on there, and you can call uh, Greg. It's got his number right on there, so you can always talk to him and, uh, you know, get the lowdown. Yeah, one, one of the cool things about this game is sometimes you can have a little guy can hit it big. You, with Cinnabunny, you certainly hit it big with Cinnabunny. Yeah, and you know, that's another thing I just wanted to say. I, I have to thank all the breeders and that have sent me horses um, that are breeder owners because they are the backbone of our racing here. And, um, you know, it takes a long time to get a young horse to the races, to raise and breed it. and. Um, hats off breeding season opening right now so it's you know it's it's a great program and we do target a lot of Pennsylvania breads and like the filly that won yesterday um, was a horse that we had bought as a yearling at the sale so targeting PA breads. And speaking of PA breads we had Donnie Brown who was the co-owner of Just One Time on who went down to Gulfstream Park won a grade two it's a great story they're going to try for the madison a grade one at keeneland in april on bluegrass day and i wrote about it for let's go racing parks.com this week so it, it just takes one Kate. it just takes one and i even go back to the days of like when mr levy had bet twice and there was one right? oh my lord <laughs> my first kentucky derby for the paper and boy what a, what a day that was because i sat in the box with bob and his whole crew i didn't watch the race i watched them and that's what i wrote was the reaction yeah. Of them watching their horse run second in the derby. Yeah, that was a great, you that know, was. again, a lot of people were involved with that. that no, my you know, you know, there was so. the famous uh, bumper sticker, honk if you own bet twice, because literally <laughs> everybody that Bob Levy knew had a piece of bet twice. Yeah, <laughs> well, he offered it to all his friends, of you course, know. Of course, and he had uh, millions of them. Yeah. <laughs> and the Pennsylvania Brides, you've done so well with them, and you stand a sire here too, Winchill. And not only do you stand a, a stud, you breed, you pin hook, you go to sales. Pewter Stable's been in a lot, and I feel like you give your owners a lot of different avenues, too. Like, if a horse doesn't work out here, maybe they'll do better at Penn or Monmouth, and, and, and what's that like? Well, it's really great having the opportunity to be able to take a horse that isn't maybe thriving down here and be able to send it to Penn, and maybe it gets new life. We've had that happen a few times, so that's a, a great thing. And, yeah, um, Winchell, is, he's got two-year-olds coming this year. Um, so, you know, he kind of had a lull a couple years in between, but I'm looking forward to seeing those babies race. And you must chill, it's done amazing. He won the alphabet soup, and uh, he just had two back to back wins, and he's been a really nice uh, horse by Winchell. Yeah, and um, I'm, I'm hoping that more are going to be popping out as two year olds, and you know, we have yearlings in the pipeline as well, so. Well, we thank you so much for joining us, and uh, we always are rooting for those P uh, pewter stable horses, and everyone knows Kate's my idol, but I wanted to really thank you for coming. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it, and happy Valentine's Day.